It's recording. My name is Matthew Trinidad. I'm the founder, manager, and trainer of San Jose Parkour Team. We're the first team in California. Coming out of high school, I wanted to do something because it was the fastest I've ever been. Talking to my fellow track athlete, he was telling me about all the freestyle stuff the pole vaulters did, doing flips off of poles and whatnot. And it reminded me of an old documentary I watched with my father back in the day. So I went online and tried to look for it. You know, and all I knew was, you know, like guys jumping rails, ledges, parking garages, buildings. You know, I looked up all those words. And then finally I found out that it was called parkour. You know, I went to all those forums, all those websites to find out what it was all about because unfortunately there was pretty much no scene in America back then. You know, then I talked to everybody from all over the world and learned how they taught, learned how they practiced, and then I started training myself. And then from there, I created a team and started training others. Different parkour moves that I think of are the most famous one is the Kong. The precisions, the leaps, the vaults. Um, there are also cat leaps, wall runs. And from there, you can become more freestyle, a little bit more flair, where you start to do more twists and flips even. It's a wide range and you can get very creative with it because, you know, every object is different and how you attack it is very different. Most people see the big moves and they get scared, they get freaked out. But I tell you, anybody can do parkour. Because now that I've trained so much and I got these moves down pretty good, they just think like that's how I've always had them. But they, they don't see like all the hours that I fell on my butt and you know, I scraped my elbow and you know, I just, just hours of drilling. There's small little workouts that I could give that slowly strengthen the joints, the tendons, the muscles. You know, you create a good foundation. Being able to train all of the little things and having that muscle memory to be able to catch yourself, to be able to practice this safely, then the fear becomes a little bit more diminished. It's still there, but you learn to use it and use the fear and the adrenaline that it gives you and kind of just focus it into a way you need to go. Sometimes I have to trick my mind. It's like a, like a mind hack. Like when I see a big jump, I'll say, I won't look at the drop because I know that'll scare me. I just try to look at what do I have to do to get from here to there. It's, it's, it's cool to see the, the mental growth and the physical growth that everyone goes through, especially if you've been here for a while. It's really nice when you overcome that. It's like almost, I guess you could say, writer's block. When you just stop. It's like, this thing is like, whoa, I can't do it. But you know your body can do it because you trained up to that. You know, I can do this. I know my, my limit. Like, I can jump 12 feet on, on the ground. So if I can do that on the ground, why can't I do that on a two-story building? It's the same thing, it's just in the mind. So the community is really nice. We train with each other at least once a month. All right, so parkour time. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. there's this big monthly jam where people from all over are coming to do their practice. It's kind of an amazing thing. Parkour jams are most similar to music jams, like a jazz jam, you know? Everyone's invited. You know, instead of going up on stage, you know, we all meet up like in a school or a park or in the middle of the city and we just show what we got. Probably have been to a spot and you've seen and done the same moves on that spot, but when a monthly jam comes around to your spot, um, you see how other people are kind of just attacking it in a different way. And it's really cool because they open your mind up to so many moves that you never thought of because everyone has their own style. There's no two people that I've met. They've, they've done jumps the same way, their, their flow is the same way. Everybody's different. You see the camaraderie in everyone and everyone is very friendly, very supportive because they've all been there before. They know the fear you're going through. They know the, the steps that you're trying to take to get to a bigger step. So it's good to just spread our own knowledge, our own style. So eventually, you know, we could become jacks of all trades. A big kidnap. It definitely makes you look at things differently. You know, we all have problems in our life and we're always attacking, attacking, attacking. You know, sometimes you realize 
I'm not getting through this problem. But parkour lets us realize there's many ways to tackle the same obstacle. And all of us, we all have different ways to do it. So if we just open our minds and think, well, how would this person do it? How would this person do it? You know, and we start to think and we can find new ways to overcome obstacles in our lives. Oh, Adapt and overcome. For example, if there's a really tall wall, you might be thinking that, hey, I want to go up that wall. I really want to attack it. But if you take a step back and you look at it a different way, you could see that you could attack both walls instead of just that one. So, you know, it's just, it helps you open up different creative pathways and it doesn't have to be just that one thing. You made it. The creativity, it's helped me a lot because now I can think of so many things on the spot and I can just keep talking and keep going. It's like, I've trained myself to do that. We, we can do so many like fascinating things with our body and most people just decide to like, you know, we don't use our bodies. And then until we get old and we can't use our bodies. All it really is is just seeing the world as a playground. A playground's a playground. You're, you've grown up with that all your life. You've seen all of those rails, you've seen all of those platforms. Now you just kind of got to see the world that way too. It brings out like the inner child. You know, people when they grow up, they think like all oh, this stuff is like childish. And with parkour, you keep playing. Even if you're an adult, you keep playing. You climb, you jump around, you, you know, you horse around a little bit. But it's like going back to like our childhood. Because when you're a child, like you just try climbing on things, you know, monkey bars, hanging upside down, you know, leapfrog, you know, all this stuff. And it's like, because it's fun. You don't have people telling you, oh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this. Like, no, just do whatever, do whatever you like. Whenever you do accomplish something, it's, like I said, it's very rewarding. It's a good opportunity to learn more about your body, learn more about what you're capable of physically and mentally. See? Oh, we got it. Whoa. I didn't know I could jump that high. Easy peasy. <laughs> when you finally conquer that wall that you've wanted for so long, people tend to get teary-eyed about it because it's like something they've been working for all their life, you know? Nice! And it's not about what other people see, it's about me, how I feel. Like, I don't care if it's like this big trick that everyone, you know, claps for me. No, it's just, you know, it's simple jumps and flowing around and just rolling. It's like, you know, I like the way it makes me feel. Like, I do it for me. We create mental barriers in our heads. You know, some people say, I can't do this, I can't do that. You know, but hardcore we let you realize, well, maybe you're just attacking it the wrong way. You, you know, if you try a different style, it might be easy, you know? If you compete with yourself, you make yourself better. But if you compete with others, you make yourself bitter. So I just tell them, don't worry about trying to be the best in the class or being better the per than the person next to you. Try to be better than yourself. Like, if you jump onto the block, if you jump this far, next time I want you to get an inch further and an inch further. It's all about the little stuff.